Hi, I've been requested to do a um, tutorial on how to set up the Roxio game cap. So here it is. Basically what you get, you get one of these, obviously the game cap itself. You get a USB cable. Okay. You also get the RCA audio cable. You get a component video cable. What you don't get is one of these. And basically this is the PS3 component cable okay so basically that goes into the back of your PS3 and these are the ones that you plug into the into the um, game cap device you also get the Roxio device drivers and it's got um, video wave as well for the editing software so this is this is this disc as well that's pretty good okay this is the Roxio capture game device okay this is the front of it component video in audio in so as you can see it's green blue red a component for the video and also on the audio in it's a uh, white and red you can't go wrong there okay turn it round and on the back you've got a USB uh, point there that will plug into the back of your PC with the cable you've got an audio out it's white and red and also you've got the component video out, which is green, blue, and red. It's exactly the same as, as on the front, apart from the front is the front is in, back is out, and you've got the USB that goes into the computer. I shall show you how to be setting these up in a sec. Right, here we go. What you need to do, I'm just gonna sit this up here next to my PlayStation 3. So basically what we do, the PS3 component cable, the one that I said doesn't come with the unit, okay, what we need to do, is to plug this into the back of the PS3 okay so that's the fit in there it goes here okay simple enough okay then we need to put these into the component video in and audio in okay so basically they go into the front so, right because I've signed me around I can't really um, uh, hold this camera and do this at the same time so basically green to green blue to blue, red to red. Is that the same as the audio in that I should do in a sec? There you go. That's the first stage. So basically it runs from your PS3 all the way down to the front of the unit. Okay, you can, that's how it's set up first off. Right, to the back of the unit. Here we go. We've got the other cables that came to the unit, component AV cables as well. Is that the same? As you can see, red, blue, green red blue green and they go here okay component video out okay straight onto the back red blue green okay and obviously the audio as well that I should do in a sec so I'll just start this one first there we go that's the first set done that's for the video so that goes into the back of the game cap device okay I'm gonna do the audio now so just bear with us there we go that's the audio red and white okay and that goes at the back as well so we can't go wrong so basically what we've got now we've got two cables that comes from the back of the device that will be plugged into the TV so I shall go over to the TV in a second right this is the back of my TV and as you can see I don't know if you can see there exactly the same top one green middle blue and red and then we've got white and red so green, blue and red is for the video and the white and red at the bottom, that's for the audio. Right, I'm just gonna click, uh, put these in there now. Uh, there we go. They're all plugged in there nice and snug. Okay, I don't know if you can see that because it's a bit dark in this corner. But it goes from there, round, 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 up to this device. Okay, obviously the wire's all over the place because I haven't tucked anything away, but I'm just showing you how to um connect the cables that's the first stage on to the second stage getting the tv set up as well for the ps3 right now this is on hdmi so now i've got to change the setting now so just bear with us at the moment because i'm like i say it's one-handed job here so we need to go to display setting okay so click on there video output we need to click on and then what we need to do is go to the second one that is component D terminal that is the one that you need 
okay then right and then press X then what's going to happen the TV's gone blank um, and then you've got to change your channel over so just bear for a sec right I've gone to the component channel so now we click yes okay then we've got select all resolutions that are supported by your TV remember 1080 doesn't work on this this is not a HD capture device okay so what we can do is click 1080i 720p and 576p okay me personally and this is just me you can have it at this setting if you want me personally I don't have that one clicked and I don't have that one I prefer just 720 on its own you got to remember that today's game at the moment is that 720p anyway so resolution so you know it's entirely up to you if you want to if you want to check 576p and 1080i then by all means do that okay let me go along and then it says and as you can see it says um do you want to set this obviously i do so we press yes okay and then to save the settings we press x again and now to set the audio outputs okay so basically we click x hdmi optical digital audio input connector scar avi so basically we go to the third one audio input connector okay scroll down and as you can see and then what we basically do is go along again okay settings list press enter as well and there we go so now if you listen uh, I'll play a bit of music now uh, let's have a bit of um, a bit of Lincoln Park shall we okay so this is Lincoln Park we know that we've set up the sound and everything else correctly on this this TV now okay any games that we play we know was going to come out for the TV that's fine we've got no problems here okay so that's done now to go to the PC right the next thing is um, USB cable goes into the back of the device and it will also go into the back of your PC as well okay so that is all the setup um, some people have problems with a laptop using a USB device um, what I would suggest is to change the port over so if you've got three ports on the back of your laptop or even your PC swap them over it might help it okay so that's that next thing is to install the drivers can you believe I can't find that disk I just had <laughs> typical I don't know where that is but anyway I'm already loaded up with that now that we've installed the drivers we're going to um, go to game capture go to capture okay I'm going to turn on the PS3 now so you can see it loading up So the PS3 has just been switched on. I'll let it load and then I'll put a game in as well. There we go. As you can see, everything fired up okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a game in. Right, the game's all loaded and that. Now what you need to do, as you can see, my picture looks okay. Um, go into options. Okay, what you have, you input 480p. 576p, 720p, 1080i. Okay, or well, there's 480i, 576i, but don't use those ones, use that one. The TV standard, even though I'm in the UK, I've got to have it on NTSCM. Um, I'll play a bit of a game at the moment. So you can see see the picture yes. and the quality. It's been a while. Well, As you can see, Bowman, right? everything looks okay. There's no wavy lines or anything like that. But what I will do, I'll change my TV setting. I'll change it to PAL that I should be on, and you can see what happens. This is what happens. I don't know if you can see that there. There's part of the heads there. Some people pictures goes black as well. So what I would suggest is to go into your options, go into TV standard and change one of these 
So if you've got any problems with what you're seeing on that screen, change it over. Okay, back to a perfect picture. Okay, to start recording, just press start capture. And there we go. Okay, I have mine on AVI, so I have a big file, then I can adjust it and change. There's this file that's being created at the moment, the time to stop. Just press stop. Okay, so that's about it really. And down here, this is what a bit that I've just recorded is down there. But like I say, if you get any problems with this picture, go to options, TV standard, and mess around with these settings here. Okay, because that might solve your problems. As you can see, it doesn't work for me. There's the light, <laughs> the light from there to there. Okay, so I hope this video. Well, tutorial I should say has helped you guys um, my color correction uh, video is, will be in the link as well in the description okay then so cheers